Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, we will understand and see how to use scrambling. Scrambling ClickView data is very useful technique when you wanted to randomize the data. This can be very useful when you're posting the QVW application or the QVW file on Click Community. So you can quickly randomize your data and post it on community. So let's go ahead and open ClickView application and see how we can scramble the ClickView data. Before we jump in and see how we scramble, uh, there are a few points which are important to understand. First one is you cannot recreate or unscramble the data once it's scrambled. So once you're scrambled, there is no unscramble button in ClickView. However, to get your original data back, you can always reload the ClickView application. So what happens when you reload? It fetches the latest data or the new data from the source file and you will have a fresh copy of data in RAM. So that kind of works as unscrambling. And scrambling generally works on number to number basis. So if you're scrambling a number field, you will always get the number. So you will get a randomized number in turn. And text, when you do a scrambling on text field or text values, you will get randomized text. And from version 11, you can also scramble multiple fields at the same time. In older version, you have to do scrambling one field at a time. Now you can hold the control key and select multiple fields and do the scrambling. An important thing to remember is when you're scrambling positive numbers, there is no way to define that you wanted only the positive numbers. So be careful with that when you're showing your scramble data in charts and other objects. So let's see how we can scramble. So if you see here, I have simple customer information and let me go ahead and scramble uh, probably yearly income and also gender just as a sample. So if you press Control Alt D, which will go to document properties and you see here, the scrambling tab uh, is is available and by default it will be the general tab but you can see the scrambling tab here and you can click here and now if you select fields you will see the scramble button is enabled using the control button you can select multiple fields so for now we are interested in scrambling the yearly income and gender so let's search for gender which is g and then yearly income which is the last one, they're alphabetically sorted. And let's click on scramble. So if you see here, X and T instead of male and female and the numbers have changed, you can click hit scramble again and then it just randomizes it. So no matter, you can hit it multiple times. So click on OK. And if you go ahead and reload this, let's assume that we wanted to unscramble it. So I'll try and fetch this data back from database. So this would take a couple of minutes. So if you see here, we have original values back, male and female are back as well. So this is a very simple technique to randomize your data. I hope you will find this technique very useful. And I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day, where I ask ClickView questions on a regular basis. And the questions covers wide range of topics like for developers, designers, and administrators. You can answer them to assess your knowledge and you will see instant results. I can show you very quickly what I'm talking about. If you go and let's open dictionary.com and go to QQOTD and you see that we have the latest question here. So I've already asked 151 questions. So you can you can look look at you can read the question and answer it, and you will instantly get the result. And to access the archived questions, you can click on the link, and it, it will open a new tab. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.